check it out, I have a Silky Spitzalbin mix. So I'm gonna bother you with some facts about both of these breeds and their bizarre offspring. I haven't seen much documentation on this online. So here is my Spitzalbin Silky mix. The mother was a silver Appenzeller Spitzalbin and the father was a white Silky. So yeah, this is my excuse to talk about Spitzalbins. Spitzalbins are super neat. And I wasn't sure which qualities he would inherit since he's part Silky, part Spitzalbin. But he acts so much like a Spitzalbin and not very much like a Silky. And he can fly. Really good. <laughs> and he is ridiculously skittish. I think I've touched this bird like two times in my entire life. So here's some Spitzalbin characteristics. Some good stuff about them. They're not even considered a breed by the American Poultry Association here, but they are recognized in the UK and they are the national bird of Switzerland. They're described as flighty, which, yeah, they are really, really skittish. They prefer to roost up high and in trees instead of in the coop, so you have to like train them to actually sleep in the coop. So his mom used to roost on top of the coop, and he also likes to sleep in that exact same spot, but I put him in the coop every single night because I want him to be safe. Spitzalvins usually have four toes, while Silkies have five. So Chimera has a foot with five toes and a foot with four. Don't know what happened there. And the fifth one kind of looks like an abomination, but he's happy. For some context, here's his mom as a baby, then as an adult. This is what his dad looked like. You are the father. He's moving at mock speed in all of my videos, I guess. So here it is in slow-mo. We called him Yeti. Then this is Chimera as a baby. Then here he is as a baby with his best friend, Gloves, who is the darker colored chick. They grew up together, both boys, both silky mixes, but Gloves is Polish. And yeah, they have a total bromance going on to this day, and I'm here for it. These two are literally always together. Like, all they do is run around and play together. They don't even care about hens half the time. I had AI write me some pro tips about having roosters that actually get along. It said, It is best to choose two roosters of a similar age if you want them to get along. Just like people, roosters have different personalities. Choose roosters of a breed that is known to be more gentle. Thank you, AI. Really, the only thing that's silky about Chimera is he has a fluffy butt and some weird leg hair. Other than that, uh, his temperament and everything else is pretty Spitzalbin. He looks more on the Spitzalbin side. His girlfriend is a silver lace Polish hen. So I'll post an update when they have a Polish silky Spitzalbin chick. Chimera got a cold and had to go to the vet. Let's go to the vet. Kai, let's go to the vet. Oh my goodness. Kai, we gotta go to the vet. He was okay though. Overall, it's been a wonderful journey watching this little fucker grow up into maturity. So yeah, that's all I got about my Silky Appenzeller Spitzalbin mix. Uh, every time you subscribe, my microphone quality gets a little better. What the heck are you doing? If you or someone you know is really into the Silkies, check out my new merch. I made these. They are an Etsy. Link in the description. Howdy there, my name's the Bacon Bandit. The greasiest gunslinger in the West. Birds are not real. And subscribe to Mo Poofles. See you around.